Hi guys, when I was a child, I always wanted to be an astronaut. Unfortunately, I couldn't be, but here we are as Microsoft along with NASA has launched courses on space exploration using Python programming. So I am very, very excited for this because I love Python programming now. And as a child, I always was into space and stuff. Now, as we scroll down, so in these paragraphs, what all is discussed is that there are almost 1.7 unfulfilled jobs in the sector or market, but people are not skilled enough for these jobs. And that's what Microsoft is aiming for to help people with their courses and trainings so that people can upgrade their skills and, you know, be applicable for these jobs, take these jobs. So that's all uh, that all is discussed in these paragraphs. And it also says that application based learning for programming languages is the best way of learning. And that's my opinion as well, because just learning the syntaxes don't really help you until and unless you yourself apply those concepts on something, you know, for problem solving or any type of project. So until and unless you do that, you cannot be good at that programming language or overall in programming. So that's why Microsoft along with NASA, Wonder Woman and Smithsonian Learning Labs have come up with various courses. And as you scroll down further, you can see the five Wonder Woman and Smithsonian Learning Lab lessons. So these are some basic coding or game design concepts. Okay. And stuff like that. Okay, so you can all uh, check out all these amazing uh, lessons as well. But our video does not focus on these. Our video focuses on the three lessons inspired by NASA. And these modules or, you know, learning paths are created by Sara, who is the principal program manager at Microsoft. So the first one is introduction to Python for space exploration. The second one is classify space rocks using Python and artificial intelligence. The third one is predict rocket launch delays uh, with machine learning. All right. So these all are pretty interesting and let's just see what all are included in this. So the first one is introduction to Python for space exploration. This is actually a sub part of this main module. Okay. So let's directly open this one. And when you open this one, so this is the main module. So in this, you basically get introduction to Python. What is Python and why you should learn Python, why it is getting popular and how you can install Visual Studio code and stuff like that. All these stuff is covered within this particular main module. And you also get to know about the Artemis uh, program by NASA, which is a program for lunar activities. And its main target is to, you know, take humans again back on moon in 2024. So the prerequisites for this one is uh, nothing as such. You just have, need to have your computer system or laptop. And the first one in this is introduction to Python for space exploration. So I have already, you know, uh, gone through these uh, units and it's very basic you don't really need to have too much knowledge about programming or space even uh, it basically you know gives introduction to python as well as what is artemis program so artemis program is a program by nasa for lunar activities and it basically aims for taking humans back on moon by 2024 so that all is covered in the first sub module uh, the second one is installing the coding tools for Python development. So uh, you install Visual Studio Code and you also see how Jupyter Notebooks can be run using uh, Visual Studio Code. The third one is writing basic Python codes in the notebooks in Visual Studio Code. Uh, the next one is control statements in Python. And the last one is counting the number of moon rocks by type using Python. So pretty interesting i hope and let me know in the comment section if you like this so this is the second module or course uh, which was about classifying space rocks using python and artificial intelligence so the prerequisites for this is that you have gone through the first course that we discussed that is this one and you also need to have basic understanding of python for data science 
all right and let's see the sub modules of this one so the first one is about learning the space rocks and how we can classify all of them so that is the first module the second one is uh, preparing to research space rocks by using artificial intelligence the third one is analyzing images of rocks using artificial intelligence again and the last one is classified types of space rocks in random photos by using AI so again artificial intelligence so that all covers uh, all of the modules in your second main module the third one is predicting rocket launch delays using machine learning so in this what modules are covered the first one is introduction to rocket launches so if you are going to work on rocket launches then obviously you need to have some prior knowledge about that so that will be taught in this particular sub module and then you have data collection and manipulation which is a very essential step before you know creating machine learning models and the third one of course is building a machine learning model so that all is covered within the third course or main module so that's all guys and i really hope you like this video and please let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt and especially which course will you start with first and which one is your favorite out of these three courses and please do not forget to subscribe because if you want more such videos i need some motivation and support and getting your subscription is the best way for that so please share it with your friends as well and thanks for watching